Hi guys, my name is Jennifer and I'm part of the edit team here at Feedback Films. In this week's vlog, we're going to be showing you how to use the Femic Pro app on an iPhone. If you're going to be using an Android device, please have a look at our previous vlog because the interface of the app is slightly different compared to an iPhone. Okay, so let's get started. The Filmic Pro app is extremely simple to use. Once you've opened the app, you'll need to click on the settings icon on the bottom right corner of your screen. Here, you can adjust the resolution. We recommend that for the aspect ratio you use 16 by 9 and that you film in 1080p. Now, if your phone is capable of doing so, the app provides the option to film in 4K, which is four times the quality of 1080p. However, filming in 4K comes at a price and the files will be a lot bigger in size. For the bitrate, we recommend that you set it to the Filmic Extreme option. Once you're done with the resolution, you'll need to set the frame rate at 25 frames per second like so. Moving on to the audio. As we mentioned previously, it's best to use an external microphone. After you've plugged in your microphone, you have to make sure that it's set to headset microphone and not iPhone microphone. If you click on device, you can see here that you have the option to save your recordings onto your camera roll by default. However, the app will still store your recordings internally, so you don't have to select it. You do not need to worry about all the other icons on the screen, as these are additional features. Now that you're done with the settings, you can click on the presets icon to save all the settings, which means that you do not have to worry about repeating the process in its entirety again. But do make sure that the next time you open the app, you check that the preset that you have created beforehand is selected. So now let's exit the settings and move on to the rest of the app. You can see a square focus reticle and a circular exposure reticle on your screen. The focus reticle can be dragged around the screen to set the focus. So be sure to put it on your contributor's face. Make sure you remember to lock the reticle by tapping it. You'll know it's locked when it turns red. The circular exposure reticle works in the same way. In order to adjust the ISO and the shutter speed, you'll have to tap on the manual control button on the bottom left side of your screen like so. As you can see, two sliders appear, but do not pay attention to the one on the right hand side as it has the focus settings and you have just adjusted that. Moving on to the left hand side of the screen, you want to adjust the ISO and the shutter speed individually. Let's start by locking the ISO by clicking on it, so we can work on the shutter speed first. You have to set it to 1 over 50. Let's now lock the shutter speed and move on to the ISO. You want to adjust the levels depending on the amount of light in the room you are filming in. We recommend that you do not go over 400. You also notice a very colorful icon. This icon enables you to manually adjust the white balance. You've got different settings to choose from. We recommend that you either choose the sunshine or the cloud icon, depending on where you're filming. We're now going to have a look at how you can adjust the sound levels so that you can enjoy the best sound quality. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the timecode medallion. The color below the timecode medallion indicates the quality of the audio signal. Mid-range green levels are of high quality, and yellow or red levels may indicate audio distortion, and you want to avoid that. You can adjust the sound level by dragging the sound level indicator left or right. Make sure to ask your contributor to say a few sentences before you start recording, so you can set the levels depending on the individual speaking voice. Hi, my name is Lucy. I like chicken. How are you? Now you're all set and you can press record. Once you're done filming, you can view the clips that you've recorded by pressing the play button. Alternatively, if you've previously set the save to camera roll option, you can also access the footage from there. So that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you find it useful and that you're not a Filmic Pro expert. If you have any questions, please drop us a line at hello at feedbackfilm.com. We'll be back next week with some more tutorials, so please stay tuned. And in the meantime, whatever you do, don't forget to press record.